All right, well, we're back at this spot that's got that great big lodge right there. Um, I caught a beaver at this location on the last check, and I don't know if you can tell, there's one sitting right there. <laughs> I have a 330 sitting on the bank den over there. I uh, just picked up a, a muskrat. Um, it snowed about three inches last night. So, yeah, anyways, let's get that beaver pulled up and uh, I'll show them to you. And, uh, yeah, it's going to be a little bit. So, all right, I'll be back in a second. All right, well, another big one. Size 12 boot. So, <clears throat> hopefully, we've got another one at that set over there. Now we actually held it. But, yeah, so uh, it was caught barely by the back foot by a toe. So, I don't know. It, it just it had enough to drown it. So, just enough water. But, anyways, all right, well, I'm going to get this guy over here. We'll go check. Uh, Oh, I got that muskrat, or that, um, calling the trap, and then I got that leather drowner over here, so. All right, see you guys in a little bit. All right, well, another beaver, uh, not a big one. That's a small one. That's a really small one, but, uh, got him in this set. Um, I have it set up just like this. I had a stick sticking out of the bank, trap here, cable out of the water, all the way down to my weights right there and um, I really don't think at least in my area um, these beavers see cable metal all kinds of stuff in the water all the time and I really don't think it bothers them um, it might bother a trap shy one but I don't think any of these ones are trap shy at the moment so um, definitely <coughs> definitely still paying off so this is the second set or second beaver in this set first one i actually got to keep uh, i did have a ring off on this set so um yeah anyways i'm gonna get uh get this get both these beavers back to the truck and then we'll head over to that new location i set and uh hopefully we've got a couple over there so see you guys over there all right well um got another beaver this is at the new location this part right here was completely flush. That beaver dug all of that out. And he wrapped himself around some of the willows. Um, ended up pulling out my anchor. I'm very lucky that he was still here. He was, like I said, he was wrapped up on the willows. Um, so, yeah. But, so, I'm going to leave this trap here. I'm not going to actually reset it. Um, I got to bring my ink, my driver and all that and I didn't bring that with me. So um, Yeah, anyways, yeah, it's a decent sized beaver um, Probably another I don't know 40 50 maybe um, I had to shoot this or like I said I had to take I had to dispatch him. So um, Yeah, I had to shoot him But anyways, I'm gonna get back to the truck and I'll uh, see you guys there I'll do the outro and all that there. So see you guys in a little bit all right, well, um, three beavers for today, not a bad day. Um, it's better, it's, I think that's the best check I've had so far. Well, three beavers in that muskrat, so I think that's uh, the best check that I've had so far on my water line. Um, so, yeah, it's uh, it's been a good season so far. I still need, I think that puts me at 15 for the season, 15 beavers for the season. So um, I want to be able to, I'd like to be able to get 20, uh, but we'll see how, we'll see how that goes. Um, I'm definitely going to be, um, I'm definitely going to be, I should be able to hit 20 fairly easy. Um, so hopefully, um, I'm still going to trap till the end of the season. Um, they're talking about there's probably, there might be a, um, a sale. They might be doing a sale in April, um, kind of a freezer clean out sale type thing. Um, uh, mainly beavers, water critters, stuff that's, uh, 
that comes in late after after the end of the season um, through the Idaho Trappers Association. So hopefully um, I'll be able to uh, sell off some more of my beavers. I think I'm only going to be able to get maybe 10. Yeah, probably 10. I don't think these three um, are going to be dry in time. Today's Monday. The sale's on Friday. I just don't think I have the time to, to uh, finish them up and get them dry. Uh, the ones I boarded up last week are, I think they're close to, they're really close to ready to come off the board. Um, so hopefully we'll be able to get them off in the next couple of days. Um, I have one more big board and another and a, another one of my small boards. So I should have enough boards to put these guys on board. I won't have to, um, I won't have to uh, put them in the freezer. So that'll be, that'll be nice. Um, I only have to work today or tonight, tomorrow night. And then um, I'm off for the rest of the week all the way. I don't have to go back to work until the following Wednesday. So um, hopefully I'll be able to use that time. I'll be able to use that time to uh, pick up more, get some more sets out, get some more locations set. Um, I might end up just pulling, I might just pull my razor out and there's a couple spots that I want to set but with the my four-wheel drive on my truck not working or acting up and all the snow and the wetness that we've been getting the last few days um, I won't be able to get those sets out unless I have some sort of four-wheel drive uh, to be able to get down to them so um, I think I might I might still pull those out I might get that out and just just do it um, so I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how the first sale goes. Um, we'll see what we get for beavers, and I guess I'll make my decision then. Um, it's only like the fourth. I think it's the fourth of March. I don't know. Um, I know it's Monday, so it's just it's not. season runs till the end of the month so I have at least three more weeks to catch a couple to catch a few more beavers so if I pull I don't know six beavers I think I've been averaging right around two beavers a check so if I pull six beavers on a check um, I should be able to yeah I should be able to get like 30 30 if not 40 maybe maybe yeah, at least at least 30 uh, beavers by the end of the season so I don't know we'll see we'll see how it all goes um, definitely uh, definitely gonna get some more sets out next week so anyways this one this is in outro is getting pretty long so uh, if you made it this far in the video please consider subscribing I greatly appreciate it thank you for coming with me on my adventure um, I make a lot of trapping content. Uh, I have some fishing stuff, maybe some razor riding uh, this summer. Uh, we'll all see how that all comes out. And um, But yeah, so anyways, thank you guys. I greatly appreciate all the subscribers. And uh, peace out, guys.